Hello everyone, I'm Drippy Sheep and welcome back to Pretty. We're on episode 2. Um, I really hope the music isn't too loud. That would suck if it is. Let me turn it down a little bit more. But in the last episode, uh, my my female friend was uh, getting a little jelly. I was getting no numbers. You know what I'm saying? Them digits. You know what I'm saying, girl? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright. I'll shut up. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. Anyway, let's get back into this. Ah, uh, there we are. Oh, shit. You see my phone there? I have some old shit. Did I, that, this actually looks like my very first phone. I just sent a text to uh, Kyrie. Fucking call that Kyrie. Fuck it, Kyrie. Don't give a shit. I can't read, okay? <laughs> Unless someone can help me pronounce this shit. I appreciate it, but I can't read this at the moment, so you're Kyrie for now. I just sent a, I just sent Kyrie a text. I'll scroll through my contacts. It doesn't take long. I only have four people on my phone. Well, that's depressing. Well, that's realistic as well. Just like my phone. Hey, where do you want me? <laughs> hey, where do you want to meet? I pack up, I pack up my belongings. Suddenly, I feel a bit panicked. What if this is all some sort of joke? Me at the park entrance. Well, I guess I already dug myself a hole. My reputation can't possibly get any worse. Despite what Telma said, had to say, I'm gonna go along with this. God damn it! I can't speak English. Oh, this was the title of the. This is actually the title picture of the game. It's kind of creepy. The park Kari was talking about is Central Park. No, Circle Park. What? I can't fucking circle. I think it was. Uh, it's, it's on the way back home. On the way of a lot of things. On the way to a lot of things. Actually, fucking English. God damn it! I'm so sorry. Like the name implies, it's smack in the middle of town. Despite being called a park, it's actually huge. A forest area with a ton of hiking trails and some clearings here. And there, whatever the park's features are. But if you want to get across town on foot, and the fastest way from point A to point B is to Park C. I used to play here as a kid, but now I just pass through as my own way to school. On my way to school. Fucking English! Kyrie was waiting for me at the gate. She waves and walks to meet me. Hello, Junior. Thanks for meeting up with me. Uh, hi. No trouble. I look around, I'm still expecting a hidden camera crew to jump out at any moment. Well then, shall we? I nod and stand up and walk beside her. So far, so good. She, sh she hasn't shown any signs of cold feet. It doesn't look like I'm going to get teared or feathered. I'm walking home with one of the most popular girls in school. And she actually is talking to me. God damn, this is depressing. Uh, it's not really... And really for, to personally... To me, it's not a big fucking deal. Personally, I like being alone at school because I don't get involved in that drama shit. Uh, people be crying like, "Oh, boo hoo!" Uh, my boyfriend cheated. Uh, oh, I got punched in the face. I'm the guy that avoids all that shit, and I just help people with the aftermath. So, say my friend gets the, his ass kicked, I ain't gonna go kick that guy's ass, but I'm gonna help this dude and be like, "Well, I'm sorry, dude, man. You get him next time." But I'm not helping you because I'm not stupid, all right? I want to get my education, and I'm going to just shut up and... Yeah, I'm expecting again. And she actually talking to me. We walk around for a while. She tells me to. She tells me about her family came to town for, from a larger city. If I'm being honest, I don't really hear much of what she's saying. Her voice is kind of memorizing. It's in that cartoon princess sing song kind of way. And I'm fortunate enough for my parents to be pay, to be paying the rent. I can't believe she invited me over. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn, man. You already hitting the bases, man. I'm proud of you. Grow up so fast, guys. Can't believe it. I'm sorry if my place is a mess. I've just been very busy lately. She fiddles with her keys as she pushes her door open with her body. Her apartment isn't even dirty. Well, at least not compared to my room. Quiet colored walls, basic furniture, a spot of trash here and there. But otherwise, I'm so, some popular word, I don't know. Make yourself at home. Need anything to drink? No thanks. What the fuck? I would love some water. Kool-Aid. Duck pepper. I have some water with me actually right now. Mm. One second, guys. Ah, oh, yes. Um, water. Kai walks over to her fridge and opens it, revealing a wonderful array of drinks and food. I raise my... I raised my hand to decline, but wow, she's really lucky if she gets to live on her own like this. I have to wait until college before I get to live by myself. Jesus, it's pressing. She takes a juice for herself and crashes, crashes onto her couch in the corner of the room. And your parents pay for all this? 
They haven't been for the past. They fuck. I'm gonna stab myself in the dick. God damn it. They haven't been. They have been for the past years now. Fuck. Does not it get lonely? Kinda, but that's why I appreciate having company over. And my parents do visit on occasion, but they're currently out of, out of a country on a business trip. Business trip? I look at the view of the town from the window. This is a really nice apartment. Her parents must be rich. So, since you're the expert here, what do you know about vampires? Expert? Me? Uh, they drink blood, right? Ah, oh, fuck me. I'm fucking up. Fucking up already, man. I move closer to the couch and sit next to her and sitting, sitting my backpack near my feet. Come on, Junior. Even I know that. What does she want to hear? F fuck. Translation accent? I don't know. They're super strong and cutting. Sharp teeth. They need to see garlic and silver. And a common practice of killing them was drinking a fucking steak through the heart. God fucking damn it. Whoa. Kyra almost had this strange smile on her face. Temo was n never really interested in violent details. I'm actually a bit excited. I got someone to talk about this stuff. About this stuff. Alright, I got something to show you. Oh, oh man. I gotta show me them pit. Oh, wait. Book. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that now. Kyra flips through her an open book on the top of her coffee table. It says here, humans unwillingly interact with vampires on a daily basis. Hiding in plain sight is a classic vampire MO. The finest trick of the devil is a person he doesn't even exist. So you, so you could be friends with a vampire. You wouldn't even know you're a vampire. Calling it right now. She's a fucking vampire. She's a fucking vampire. I'm calling this shit right now. Boom. I shake my head. <sighs> Doubt it. I don't even have too many friends. God, the what the? What are the? What the fuck are you doing, man? God damn it! You're dissing yourself and me here. What the fuck? Sorry, stuff us a laugh. Why would a vampire want to be friends with a human anyway? We're so boring. God, fuck. Uh, Alright. We're not as strong or as fast as them. Wouldn't it make sense for them just to be after our blood? Kyrie shrugs and, and tilts. I, I, okay, I'm sorry, but I thought this said tits. This one, I'm just, all right. She shrugs and <laughs> tilts her head. Vampires are people too, right? It would be lonely too if I had to uh, kill a quarter of people I met. When you put it that way, I guess a vampire wouldn't need to support a group. Talk about Hamarops Anonymous. Hello, my name is Dracula, and I'm a, a fuck in English. Kyra looks at me confused. Oh man, that was stupid. Kyra giggles softly. Hopefully that wasn't a pitiful laugh. My self conscious is already shot as it is. Do you think humans would consciously be friends, vampire? <coughs> you think the answer would be no? It's not? No, I meant having a vampire for a friend could have it, have its perks. It's like being friends with a superhero or a police officer. They could have superheroes and police officer wouldn't suck your blood. Neither would a good friend, right? Not if they were two... Not if they were the two <laughs> last living things on Earth. Why do I feel like... I, I read perfectly fine, man, but I don't know why I can't do it recording. People do extraordinary things in sort of car shop or I don't think I'm my friendship in front of survival. Then again, like I said, I don't have too many friends to begin with. Well, better to have them as a friend than an enemy, I suppose. Kyrie pulls out a short stack of newspaper and magazines. I spent the majority of the early afternoon reading what she had to offer. Her story of girl vampirism, my true love police of medical reports, her innocence of mutation victims, and of course, good handfuls of phony magazine articles. Vampire wins local chess tournament by mind reading. Incredible or not, you still had a pretty good time. Kyra yawns and stretches. Wow, it's getting pretty late. Is that at my cue to leave? Oh no, you don't have to. I check my watch. It's probably a bad time I get home. I'm pretty sure my math homework isn't gonna do itself. I stand up, pack up my backpack from the floor. Oh, and Junior? Can I ask you a question? <gasps> yes, I'm single. Just want, just want, I'm single, girl. Just letting you know, girl. Just one last exchange before you go home. Before you have to go. Alright, sure. I turn around here out. Yeah, what is it? Why did you decide to come with me today? What kind of question is that? Is it because you think I'm pre pretty or popular? Because you didn't think I'll be into these sort of things? Of course, she's super pretty and popular. I mean, she aight. She aight, you know what I'm saying, guys? 
But that can't be the only reason, right? Think, Junior. No. It's not that. It's not that. I don't have too many people to talk to about this stuff. Hell, I don't have too many people to talk to at all. This is realistic. It's just a lot of people know who I am, but you're the only one who's actually taking the time to get to know me. You think a girl's popular shit would have a ton of friends. Turns out she's as lonely as the rest of us. Welp! If that was true. Guys, the girls be fucking crazy, man. I know a lot of crazy females, man. And I barely have any friends. That is sad to say. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Uh. Anyway, yeah, I know a lot of crazy females. A lot of my exes are actually fucking crazy. I, actually, the majority of them are in, I think, Juvie. Yeah. Anyway, Kyrie looks at me and smiles. So, thank you, Junior. I'll see you out. Kyrie stands up and follows behind me. I'll see you tomorrow, Junior. Stay safe. Kyrie smiles as she waves, me, waves from her front door. Well, she certainly had a lot of share. Never really had her purge with someone like me. She's going through the motions of a whole different kind of person on the inside. And to the park gates. Quickest way home and all that. It's a bit chilly for April, but the sun sits behind the, behind the clouds as I walk. Fuck. The cold air feels a bit thin to breathe. My feet hit the pavement at rhythm and are familiar to me. The park paths are, from, are fairly empty, but people are but people are here nonetheless. A couple of kids and hoods keep them to themselves. What if they're vampires? <gasps> oh man, I'm on now. I'm on the edge. I look up at it, but I don't quite make out their faces. I look back up to avert my eyes. When I see them pass, to I look back up to find the path out of my streets. Oh shit! Oh shit! The sun tips over the horizon as I pull up my head up. I see some dark forms in the distance. A shadow? It stands up almost flickering, blowing in the wind, stealing my breath. I rub my eyes and salute is gone. I look around and pick up pacing and actually get home. My footsteps, my footsteps quickly as I hold my backpack tight into to my person. And that is where we end the video, guys! She is about to go down, it looks like. So if you were ready for the next episode, all you can do is slap a like button, five likes, and I get the next episode as soon as possible. So slap the like button if you made it this far. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone!